What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another vlog on this beautiful Easter weekend, you guys. It is the Saturday before Easter. And uh, if you're in Dallas area, probably going to be storming on you all day today and tomorrow. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Devin and I are just getting up and letting the pups out. And uh, I think we've got some fun stuff in store for today's video, believe it or not. We might try and go fishing before the rain hits. It keeps getting pushed back. It was supposed to be raining probably by now today. Now it's not even a 40 or 50% chance till maybe 11. So we might go hit a pond real quick, and then what we're going to do is probably take the truck. We've got three vehicles and only a two-car garage, and tonight's storms may produce hail, it says. So what we're going to do is probably find a parking garage to put the Tundra in, leave that there overnight, and uh, that's kind of the usual around storm season. Just got to do what you got to do. And then also we're going to edit some more video. Oh, you know what? Today, Working Class Zero is dropping new Citizen Swim Baits, and you guys have asked me a lot of questions about these things. And they're dope. I think I'm gonna order like at least two packs of two. They're, they, they're sold in two packs, these swim baits. They're six and seven inch. In fact, let me show you the one that I have rigged up that Jared had given me down in Austin when we visited. Super crazy swim baits, man. Still on the hunt for an Echo bike, but we got two other stationary bikes for now. Absolutely sick paddle tail swim baits. Soft plastic. The guy makes them out of California. They're going on sale tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm going to be at the computer ready to lock in my order because everyone I talk to says these things sell out so fast. So definitely got to scoop up at least a couple. I'm thinking they're selling only the citizens. Today's drop, it looks like, in three different colors. They're going six and seven models. So could be pretty cool. I might pick up some sevens, but probably just the sixes anyways. That's enough talk about swim baits. We're going to be buying those later. We'll show you the process, and uh, hopefully they don't sell out before we get ours. Let's go ahead and feed the dogs and get prepped to go hit this pond. Also, how are you guys enjoying this quarantine? It's, uh, it's a little bit of fun. we got a lot of house projects going on. Yeah, Devin sounds like she's having a good time. Oh, y'all can't see Devin. All right, I gotta, I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute. we got to get stuff done. On another note, Devin's finishing up this flooring. Yeah, check that out. New laminate is in. And the uh, baseboards are back on. There's all our shoes in the tub. So we'll have to put all that stuff back in there, but uh, real quickly, let's put on a new Apple Watch band. Yeah, we might mow the yard too. I forgot about that. I had said I wanted to when I woke up, and then I was like, well, let's go fish. By the way, we just get these off Amazon for cheap. We don't we don't pay those full Apple prices. If y'all haven't used these Velcro ones, they're the most comfortable. You can get these on Amazon for like a few bucks, I think. Just very cheap. Much more comfortable. Been wearing this one for a little bit. Gotta stay fresh for quarantine, you know? We're good. Oh, it's telling me storms at 11 a.m., which is in one hour. The winds are a blowing. Come in here and give the king a little sunshine. Alright, let's go ahead and load up the truck with some fishing gear and head to the ponds. To get two and a half months of your payroll covered, and now the treasury is asking for more money. Alright, so we just pulled up to the first pond. We're gonna take advantage of these couple hours before uh, the storms roll in supposedly fish for a little bit and then like Weston said we're gonna end up taking the truck uh, to a garage because we don't have it covered at the house and it's just a little bit of a less stress going on right now if we don't have to think about the truck getting uh, hailed on and stuff anyways let's get some fishing done and we'll keep you updated all right y'all they say if it ain't broke don't fix it and what's been working for me here lately has been the bluegill swim bait so let's toss it out well, Weston still had this uh, little mini recon tied on from yesterday, so I figured I'd just toss it a few times before changing things up, seeing if, if anything might go after a crankbait, a little bit of rattle. Ooh, I just had a bit of a swipe at it right at the bank. Oh, there we go. There go. Got him. 
the internal drag's not set at all. Drag was not set at all. Wow. That's typical. Oh, he is kind of good, isn't he? I can't even tell. Holy smokes. Yeah, there we go. This is a good one, guys. This is a pretty dang good one. Might be the biggest one I pulled out of here in a while. Holy smokes. And he hit it subtly. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Gantrell Jr., man. If they ain't broke, don't fix it. This is pretty sweet. Dang. Ooh, guys, just one hook. And that drag was not set at all. I got lucky I didn't lose that fish. Wowzers. All right, let's get this thing on the scale. I would say this is probably three and a half. Ah, maybe not three and a half, but. Uh, I'd say four. You'd say four? I think four. Devin says four. I say three and a half for sure. Yeah, this one's actually fairly hefty. Three and three quarters, almost a four pounder on that Jackal Gantrell. Just, it could be a little bit fatter. It would definitely be a four. Oh my gosh, it'd be a four all day. But let's get this thing back in the water, try and grab us some more bluegill swim bait hidden for the wind. Check this thing out right here. That was a parallel pass to the bank, keeping the rod tip low so the jackal could swim down a little bit. Got this from Big Mama's attention. Let's get her back. Funny. I was just sitting there, Weston and I were talking, and uh, my trench hog was getting close to the bank, so I went ahead and just started swimming it in, and I saw this guy come up and side swipe it, and he got it just right. Hey, Too cool. The bite is hot. Oh, I was about to say, I'm feeling pretty good about this spot. Damn. I found a little spot where I can get the rod tip closer to the water, sink this bluegill down a little bit deeper. A lot of grass right here. That little guy came out and whipped at it. I bet I could get him to strike again. I need a cast. There we go. A little to the left. Oh, God. That was a bigger one. Got a goose over here. Well, we fished about the whole thing, y'all. It's getting pretty dang windy. We might need to go take care of the truck now. I got a bunch more hits on this thing, but nothing that like really smacked it and got hooked. Kind of weird. I, I like I say, don't normally get short strikes, but uh, yeah. There we go. Got another one. All right, casting same cast as when I caught that big one. There we go. That was cool. Same cast as where we got that big one too. That's funny, we circled the whole pond. I guess that's just the money zone. Cause this was after I said we were gonna leave, but <laughs> just getting a few more casts in. Yeah, three so far. Uh, one, one was almost four pounds, so yeah. About four, just just shy, yeah. Yeah, they, they were hitting pretty good for a little while. No, we were throwing, I just switched it up, but I was throwing a hard bait, a, it's a bluegill swim bait. Oh, <laughs> I turned my GoPro on. Weston. Turn my GoPro on, because I'd cast it out and I realized I wasn't filming. And this guy is not little. Oh no! some lameness well like i said i was turning the gopro on because i figured or i realized i wasn't filming um whenever i cast it out there so the trench hog was just sitting on the bottom and then i go reel in and i'm like oh man it's stuck in some grass and then i felt a couple head shakes and uh realized it wasn't stuck in grass it was actually a fish and it was a good fish at that and y'all saw so crap let's go ahead and cast out there a couple more times the storm's rolling in Ooh. Lightning. lightning and the thunder <laughs> Suppose we better call it. It's starting to rain on us, y'all. We got stuff to do. Here we go. Good spot along the bank. All right, we're really leaving now. I think those guys that are golfing think they're gonna wait it down under the tree. It's about to get freaking 
crazy out here. <laughs> All right, the rain picked up enough to where it kicked us out. So on that note, Weston caught that last fish. Man, I missed that one. I'm still really bitter about that. I think we're gonna go ahead, uh, take the track to somewhere where it's covered. Like I said, those bad storms are gonna be rolling in tonight, supposedly. Just one less uh, thing to worry about. And then uh, see what's on the agenda from there. Gas price is $1.22. guys truck fits and since we're in the area I figured we'd give this little spot a shot we gave it about 10-15 minutes and normally they smash crankbaits here if the bite is on I should have known they'd be down drop shots probably one of the few ways to get a Ned rig something like that after that rain I was trying to pull a quick one out for you guys but so we just stopped by Floor and Decor and uh, picked up that final trim piece. And this is for the master closet project that I've been working on in the past couple videos. Only a few more hours until they go live for sale. Okay, back at the house. Here's that flooring strip. And only a few more hours until we can order that swim bait. I'm pumped. Tamale and macaroni lunchtime with some topo. Lunch was delicious and a uh, quick time check for you guys so you even know what part of the day we're at. Saturday the 11th, it is 2.48 in the afternoon. I don't know which one of y'all knocked that pillow off the couch. All right, what else we got going on today? All right, the closet is all finished. The wood floors went down. We took off the baseboards, repainted them, sanded them down, put those back on. And then I just went around the entire closet with the caulking and uh, sealed it all back up. Went ahead and put the transition piece back down that we got earlier today. Successful. Quarantine project complete. Check. Looks good, Gino, huh? Woo! And I've just been out here working on another edit of vlog that's probably already been posted one day, two days, five days ago, who knows, but uh, I need to get some more beast owner hooks for these new swim baits and because I have some of these six aughts that are perfect for the Citizen 6, but for the Citizen 7, the larger one, they recommend a 10 aught beast owner hook. And it looks like Dick Sporting Goods has got them in stock at the store near us but they are closed except for contactless pickup. We'll pick them up sometime today because tomorrow is Easter Sunday and they don't allow the contactless pickup tomorrow. Please wait 10 minutes and check your email. When your order is ready, drive. Go to the store and park along the curb near the main entrance. When you arrive, find a spot along the curb near the main entrance. Dope, that's me. Good, how are you? Yeah, for what uh, Smith. So yeah. Weston, in case there's a couple Smiths, but you just want it on the seat right here. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. thank you. Appreciate you. You bet. You guys have a great day. Hey, thank you. You too. Now that's service. Dang, y'all, that is sick. Holy smokes, half ounce. <laughs> like <laughs> this is heavier than most lures I throw to begin with, and then we're about to put some big old citizens on here. I am pretty stoked. Now I gotta run into Walmart real quick and grab some new light bulbs for the closet because it seemed a little dim in there and especially after going from brighter white carpet to that darker wood, it seems very dark in the closet. So let me see if I can't find a replacement bulb and I got my mask. I feel like even though everybody has masks on, people are gonna be tripping out with me wearing this. We'll see. That was mainly unsuccessful. Yeah, basically the only bulbs that they had were like in the same soft white color that we had picked up instead of a brighter white. So we'll have to go to like Lowe's or Home Depot in the future and grab another bulb. Just got back. Looks like Devin decided to start painting. Hey, TJ. Gina, what's going on with our walls? Well, they look like you. We bought some touch up from the old Sherwin Williams recently, covering up the spots with some white and then gonna get the uh, main layer down here. Ooh, look at this wall. Oh yeah. Okay, so it turns out, dang, I didn't even need to go to Walmart. We had a spare lens, so. Lens. Uh, spare bulb. Bright closet, new floors, dun da da da. Here's an example of why we are repainting. This is by Juno's bed. 
<laughs> and guys, in case you haven't met, I think you've seen him in one video, but this is Chase. We have two foster cats. Oh, he's running. Chase. Well, that doesn't help. This is Chase. This is Max, but he's been here. He could care less. All right, and let's find TJ. Kitty. Yeah. Oh, oh. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, gosh. oh no. Oh, <laughs> and there's Max. Anyways, we got a bunch of cats here. Oh, got him. Okay, there we go. This one. <laughs> Just uploading this video right now. I'm double checking it before we go on YouTube and put it live. And it is now 7.40, guys. 20 minutes out until the working class zero baits go on sale. 7.59. I'm just hitting refresh over here. Oh, they're available. It's like only one color is available is what it says. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it. Green pumpkin and seven. Well, wait, we want to continue shopping, but it doesn't say the other one's available yet. All right, there we go. Our two colors are available. Citizen seven and green pumpkin. That is what we want. Boom. Okay, we've got emerald speckled two pack and citizen six, and we've got green pumpkin two pack and citizen seven. Total is $69.90. Check out. Ooh, this, is, this feels good. It's four baits. It's four big swim baits for that price. And then the freaking hooks cost 15 bucks. All right, contact information. We gotta fill this out quick. Other people are trying to buy right now. We gotta have our colors. Mm -mm. I don't know how quickly those these sell out. Total $86 for these four swim baits. Thank you, Weston. Your order has been received. Working class zero. Dude, I didn't know they sold out this fast. It is 8.04. They went on sale at eight o'clock Texas time, six o'clock Pacific time. It is four minutes after they went live. And one of the ones we ordered is sold out. The Citizen 7 and Green Pumpkin is sold out. And the Citizen 7 and Emerald Speckle is sold out. We got the 6 and Emerald Speckle. The dessert is not sold out yet, but I expect they will. Four minutes after. <laughs> Holy shit. Just past 8.30, y'all. Just a quick update. Five out of the six options are sold out on the site. The only thing that is left is that dessert color, uh, Citizen 6, for $32.95 two-pack. Quick switch over to dinner. Vlog is posted. We are good there. I got that up about 9 p.m. We are making tacos, although it is not a Tuesday night. We got the goods. We got some Spanish rice. We're doing it big out here in Texas. Y'all dinner is ready just out the shower and in some comfy clothes Devin and I are gonna eat and then if you guys haven't seen this dude right here This is actually pretty funny Devin and I were dying watching like the first three quarters of this We got another like 15 minutes to finish up tonight uh, Mark Marin, Just released in 2020 dudes funny in case you're looking for something else to watch on Netflix other than Tiger King during the pandemic Guys, it's days later. I figured we'd just do a little bit of a continuation because the baits are here. It is now Wednesday the 15th. I think they dropped on Saturday, so quick shipping, man. I suppose, considering all that's going on and people are like waiting a long time on their packages. Let's get this stuff opened up and we're gonna talk about these and actually show you how to rig them and show you how to work them. We're gonna go fish these things now. Very excited. Pull tab to open. Yo. Woo. Bam. Weapons of bass production. Weapons of bass destruction. These are gonna get some big bites. This. Woo! Green pumpkin. Look at those things. Dang. So that's the sevens, that's the sixes. Holy crap, we gotta set this up with a 10 odd beast hook. This is gonna be insane. And we got a Huddleston eight inch coming in tomorrow, so we're gonna have six, seven, eight locked and loaded. I don't even know if I was supposed to tell y'all that yet, but it's too bad. I'm pumped. All right, guys, so first things first, we're actually gonna try and repair the one that was given to me by Jared down in Austin. Such a cool dude, man. Y'all gotta check out his page. I'll link it down in the description. He actually gave me my first citizen uh, when I was down there fishing, and it's a little torn up. It's been through some abuse. It's caught a lot of fish, and now the opening on top is just, like, massive, and this hook doesn't stay put very well, so it will actually, like, fall in and out of the bait just because it's been put through so much use. So what we're gonna do is show you how to seal that and then we're gonna open these new ones up and show you how to rig them, which I've actually never done. This one was rigged all ready to go for me with a six aught beast hook. We're gonna show you how to rig the new sixes and sevens we just got. Talk to you a little bit about them and take them out. But we have this torch, our butter knife, 
and we're gonna try and seal this bad boy back up and get him ready to go as well. They're very exclusive, very limited. If you have an opportunity to grab some of these things, definitely pick them up on the next drop, which I assume might be sometime in the next month. They also have their other Battle Shad. Mike makes these custom out in California, made in the USA. Top-notch swim baits with a huge following. You guys gotta get some of these, but let's go ahead and try and uh, fix this one right here. What we're gonna do is heat up this butter knife and essentially put it through the slit, and then we're just gonna take that back out and hold it tight and it should seal right back up. So first things first, we wanna get this butter knife nice and hot. Uh, if I need to drop it for some odd reason, I would just put it right here. So I'm trying to be as well prepared as possible. You just don't wanna heat this knife up with that in your hand because the whole thing's gonna get pretty hot, I imagine. Never done this before, should be fine. Oh, apparently you can get these at like Bed Bath & Beyond on a smaller scale for like making creme brulees, so. I imagine that's good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Seal that back up. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about right there. This thing should be good to go. You can probably even hit it a little bit on the top. Get a nice, nice seal going on the back of that bait there. Ooh, that'll get you. That thing is sealed up quite nicely. That thing looks nice and sealed, you guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that sit for a minute while we uh, re-rig these new ones. And then we're gonna end up putting that hook back through here and I'm gonna show you how to get the hook sitting just how you want it. Let's go ahead and break out a six real quick. Brand new, you guys, you're supposed to keep these boxes for storage of the baits when not in use. That way they keep their shape, they keep their swim. These are very high quality. You do not want to just uh, you know, leave these in your tackle box getting squished down by other baits and lures you've got in there. And holy smokes, dude, look at the contrast between the new one and the old one. Look at the shimmer and shine on that new one. Wow, that's gonna draw the fish in from a ways away. This is so cool. It feels like a million bucks, holy cow. Inside the box, it looks nothing like in your hand. Out, oh my gosh. And this is designed specifically for a six aught owner beast hook. You can see that slot. It's meant to sit 100% flush right there. So this thing is as snagless as you can get. That thing's so cool. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we're going for it. So what I've heard you want to do from Mike, the guy who makes these, is line this up to where you can have your thumb right here, where the back of that hook is supposed to be, right? So what you want to do is bend that body down until you can feel the hook in that spot. Then it should be able to come up on and out and be 100% flush. That went much smoother than that one right there. When they're brand new, there's not much of an opening and this one's a little bit more open on the bottom. I'll try and give you a better example now that I've done it one time, but we've got that hook sitting flush right there. The weight is right there in that little chamber and then also that air chamber, air pocket that this thing has is so that when the bass go to grab a hold of it, the whole body can collapse very well. So this whole body is just filled with air you can see it just pushes right down and collapses. That way when they go to grab this thing, they get that hook. Let's rig up the seven now with a 10 aught. First time ever doing this, you guys, you're just, uh, you're here live with us, man. Now what some people say to do is actually trim this point. They say to trim that point a little bit, a little further back. Uh, even though it does help guide onto the plastic, it can also tear it up more maybe after uh, multiple bites and hard hook sets or whatever the case may be. So some people say to trim it back. I think on this first one, I'm just gonna go with it. And then if I have to rig up this other one in the future, I will test out that one and see which one works best. Uh, since Mike doesn't necessarily say anything about cutting that off, just other people's recommendations have been, we're gonna see what happens. Let's get this thing rigged up, man. And we're digging that thing deep, guys. We're getting it, I mean, I mean extra flush. So if y'all can see that right there, I mean, I'm screwing it in as far as it will go. You know what, we're gonna try and bend this one out first. I'm gonna try and bend this one out first. Let's, yeah. These are strong hooks though, I'll tell you what. I'm trying not to damage that barb right there. That's gonna help you get your fish and keep them hooked. So I'm just trying to give that a little twist of the wrist. There, I think that's, yeah, that's I think exactly what we're looking for. All right, here we go guys. We're gonna line that up. The top of the hook we want to come out right here that way it sits nice and flush you can see that so we're going to mark that spot with our finger now we're going to try and push that hook up through the bait collapse it his video does make it look super easy he has just got this system down 
Okay, I think that's what helps. You get the hook in the body first and it's loose, but it's inside there. Now we can, I think, push it forwards. Yeah, that's much better. And you want it to protrude right at your finger where you've marked it in the center. Let's see what we got. I'm liking the way that looks. Yeah, that should be good. Push that up through. Bam, guys. That's what we're talking about. So, no stretch on the plastic. It's not too far forward or too far back to where it scrunches the plastic or it's too stretched. That's exactly what you're looking for. And just as he recommends, a slight bend up. That way, although it's not, although you could catch some grass, this is still very weedless or snagless, but you're gonna miss less fish because that hook comes up. Ooh, dangerous. And remember, they have that air pocket, so this bait just collapses so easily. Just insane, that chaos air chamber. A lot of thought goes into these baits. Now we're just gonna push that back up. This thing is ready to go, man. Yes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was jam packed with so much and I don't want to include any more and take this thing out fishing. It's gonna be reserved for future videos. We actually did take it out today, got our first hit on it. So be looking out for many videos with not just this, but many other swim baits. And of course our new swim bait rig. All of our new gear is in, rigged up, and uh, you got a lot to look forward to in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned, you guys. We're trying to crank out at least one video a day on YouTube. See you tomorrow. <gasps>